Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, we are going to see how we can use a potentiometer with an Arduino to dim an LED. In this project, we will show dimming of an LED, but this project can be used for decreasing the speed of a motor or changing the direction of a servo or any other projects of the similar type. So I have few potentiometers with me. In the market, there are different types of potentiometers available. This is one type. This is another type. Usually in a potentiometer, there are three pins. When we turn the potentiometer to one direction, the resistance between the middle pin and that side pin decreases and the middle pin and the other side pin increases. Like if we turn the potentiometer like this, the resistance between these two pins will decrease and when at the end position, it will be zero. And if we turn the potentiometer this side, the resistance between these two pins will decrease and the resistance between these two pins will increase. The value of the resistance can be marked anywhere. In this potentiometer, it is marked here 10K. So the maximum resistance between two pins are 10K here. So the terminal two pins, this pin and this pin always has a resistance of 10 kilo ohms and the resistance with the terminal pins with the middle pin varies with the position of the potentiometer. As we turn the potentiometer, the value increases or decreases. In different potentiometers, the value can be written in different positions. In some potentiometers, it's written at the backside. In some potentiometers, it is written on the body. So we have to check or we can check by a multimeter what is the resistance of a potentiometer. Now for the demonstration purpose, I have connected a header pin with the three pins of the potentiometer so that it can be inserted into a breadboard so that I can give the demonstration on a breadboard. With this potentiometer, I will show you the beaming of an LED using the potentiometer. So let's move on to the practical demonstration. For that, I have a breadboard here. Now we need to connect the Arduino with the computer USB. Let's connect that. So here I connected the Arduino. Now I will connect the positive and negative power supply from the Arduino into the breadboard. Sorry, this is the wrong jumper I inserted. It's connected. Now I will connect the potentiometer here. For the ease of viewing, I am tilting it a little. Now I will connect one side of the potentiometer pin to the positive power rail. and the other side pin to the negative power rail. Now I need to give the input to the Arduino from the middle pin of the potentiometer. I am connecting it to analog pin 0 and I will take the output from the Arduino pin number 9 to here on the breadboard and here I will connect one LED and the negative from the negative power rail. The anode side of the LED is connected with the output pin from pin number 9 that is a PWM pin of the Arduino and the cathode side is connected with the negative power supply from the Arduino. So our circuit is complete. Now we need to upload the sketch into Arduino and see the output. Now we will move on to the Arduino code section. This is the Arduino sketch. Here we have defined the LED pin to pin number 9 and the potentiometer pin that will be the input that is analog 1 pin A1. Uh, I have used A0 so I am changing it to 0. Now in the setup section we have defined the LED pin to output pin. Now in the loop section we have defined a potentiometer variable which reads the potentiometer pin by analog value. An analog read variable value can be up from 0 to 1023 and PWM output value can be 0 to 255. So we need to match the input with the output and there is a function that is a map function and the map function tallies these two variables that is the input variable which can be up to 1023 and the output variable which can be up to 255. So it changes accordingly. We have assigned the output of the map function in the brightness variable and then we have used the analog write function to write the output to LED pin that is the PWM pin. A very small sketch. Now we will select the Arduino board. The COM board that is selected. Board is selected Arduino Uno. Now we will upload the sketch. 
into the Arduino. Compiling, now uploading the sketch and uploading is done. Now we are moving on from the code section to the project section. You see the light is glowing now. And if we turn the potentiometer slowly, the LED will dim and gradually turn off. We have connected it in the opposite direction. That is why it is working inversely. If we change the connection in the potentiometer, that is, we will just invert the connection. Now you can see the potentiometer will work properly. If we turn it counterclockwise, the LED will dim and turn off. And if we turn it clockwise, the LED will gradually brighten. See, so in this way, we can use a potentiometer with an Arduino for dimming an LED or we can also use it for any other project of this kind where we need to use a potentiometer and use the analog value from the potentiometer to adjust in the project. So today up to this, if you have any confusion about the project or if you have any question about this demonstration, you can ask me in the comments. Thank you for watching today's video. We will meet again in a new video. Till then, bye bye. Take care. Have a nice time.